ਹੁੰਦਾ ਕਿ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਕਾ The Rohingya refugees have experienced targeted violence, human rights abuses and horrific journey fencing Myanmar. They are not comfortable to be at home anymore. Life had become more difficult from the beginning of the situation changed. Myanmar army started burning houses on fire and shooting people. They started killing all the men. It just happened in front of everyone. It's not expected. When they started shooting, people ran in all directions. Some people survived, but most of the men and children were killed. Millions of refugees have fled their country. They were simply looking for a safe place. Mother wanted her children to be safe wherever that was even if it was the desert kids couldn't walk properly they couldn't eat or sleep somehow they arrived here they live in makeshift refugee camps that sprawl over frame and open land in the region the recent influx of rohingya refugees fleeing mass atrocities in Myanmar since late August 2017 broke all previous records there are currently over 1 million rohingya refugees living in cox's bazar bangladesh has been hosting rohingya for more than 3 decades in varying numbers depending on the level of oppression in rakhine state of myanmar In response to the current massive humanitarian crisis, ARF is one of the few international organizations that immediately responded with relief material at the start of the latest influx. Our humanitarian work is mostly concentrated in Kutupalong makeshift camp and surrounding camps at Balukhali and Gumthum. These camps shelter about 700,000 Rohingya refugees. We provide food, clothes, shelters and many more non-food item kits for cooking to nearly 150,000 refugees through its local partner organizations namely Nomijan Aftabi Foundation and Social Aid Cox's Bazaar and we spent around 700,000 US dollars till August 2018 Over the last one year We have facilitated visits of our donor and supporters to the Rohingya refugee camps. They visited our project activities and assessed the ground reality and the further needs of the refugees. Food is one of the immediate needs of refugees. According to the information provided by our local partners, supply of food is now running low, which affects the refugees. based on prioritizing the needs of rohingya refugees and our capacities we will be able to deliver the short and medium term projects in refugee camps over the next 6 months the proposed project will provide food assistance shelter assistance cooking fuel winter aid household essentials primary health care mobile clinic informal learning center and mobile school project.